Good morning, Tara. Pastor Ed here. Uh, just a quick devotional thought from a passage you probably are familiar with to some extent. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David begins with this proclamation uh, that the Lord is his shepherd. With, with sheep, as David would have known by experience, he didn't have to constantly tell them. They just knew and listened to their shepherd. But as human beings, we have to be reminded of so many things. Do you ever notice how in communion, Jesus will say, as he's practicing the, the retelling of the Passover meal and what we'll know as the Lord's Supper, do this in remembrance of me? Because he knew, as horrible as the thought is, we would forget uh, the one who came to earth, God incarnate, who died for our sins. And so David reminds us, as duller than sheep, because we overthink things, the Lord is our shepherd. It's important to even pause and say that in times that are really good, let alone times that are difficult like these, to be able to say, the Lord is my shepherd. I don't want to be deceived into thinking things are going great because I just did them, or it's just happenstance. The Lord is my shepherd. And, and he says he, he gives them, gives us, rest in green pastures and refreshment beside still waters, but he also leads us in a path. He gives us a direction and a future and says he leads us in the path of righteousness. We have to be those who are tracking after the Lord, though, to be able to really get the path that he's saying. And it all began with that shepherd piece. There's a negative, though, that we have to be careful that we're obeying, that we're, we're finding a check on this, pulling the reins hard on it, that we shall not want. It's easy to find a discontentment if we start laying out a plan and a timeline of everything we think should and shouldn't be happening. Now, there's a fine line between having goals and things we're praying about and being someone who constantly is finding themselves in their want and discontentment. It's okay to have aspirations and ask God, would you bless this, as long as we're comfortable saying the way Jesus said in the garden, nevertheless, your will be done, as he taught us to pray in the Lord's Prayer, your kingdom come, your sovereign presence over me, your will be done. So we have to just remember that he's shepherding us in good times and bad, and to be able to say to ourselves, I'm not a person who should live in want. And David's well aware of circumstances, as though his enemies are around him constantly, and though the shadow of death, which is ever near us right now, it always was. But I think this time has made people upset about two things that were always present, and maybe it's good that we have them as before our eyes again. The two things are this, that we're going to die. There will come a day when you are no more in this world. What is your life, the Bible says? It's a vapor that appeareth for a little while and then vanisheth away. That we're going to die and that things are out of our control. That we can't, in these days, make a vaccine, make the virus stop, do any of that. It just seems so out of control, economically, emotionally, socially. But these things were always true. And David finds that the thing that guides him in these moments is to know the Lord is shepherd and to fight against wanting and to bring instead of wanting a deep contentment in the way God leads us. I hope this was a blessing to you to just spend a, a brief moment reflecting on the word, on God's goodness and shepherding care for us out of Psalm 23.